No, guys, I don't watch mainstream media meteorologists. I don't have a TV. Um, certainly don't go to their sites to watch what they say about this. What uh, Have you heard any meteorologists talking about this very, very strange precipitation that's happening here? What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, it looks like, I don't know, some flower that I, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But wow, it's long, huh? It's very, very long. Yep, here it is. Uh, the tail end is in Texas. Going all the way on up to Canada. Got pretty powerful, extremely low frequencies right here at the top, but, um, well, I don't know, kind of looks like a ride or something, uh, splits in two, I guess that's the jet stream or something, the jet stream is going right up north, and then it's, then the jet stream decides, well, you know, at that fork in the road, mm, which way should I go, which way should I go, I'll go both ways. Oh my God, look at our Doppler radar pulsing away the entire East Coast. Even We even have a bit of scattering here in Maine. Um, but I guess they're not checking any planes anywhere else in the country. Uh, Texas, they seem to have left you alone a little bit. I guess now is as good a time as any to show you what has been going on in the last couple of days, but LA, Southern California, you are out dancing at the disco. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Not sure what to say about this. Things are getting awfully strange. All right, hang on for a sec. This was 1030, uh, no, 1003 AM Eastern Standard Time today. Whoa. Pulsing away. Boom. Louisiana and Mississippi. You are showing your stuff. And look at this straight line. Yeah, this is, I guess, the storm that, well, it's still kind of there. Oh, the top of it is still there. It just developed a really long tail all the way to Texas. Oh, man. What do you even say? How are you guys feeling? How are you guys feeling, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia? Oh, and South Carolina and North Carolina. Well, I'll show you what has been going on. before today. It's been bad. Look at this straight edge line of precipitation that just <gasps> boom comes out of nowhere. Wow. What man can do, huh? All right, hang on again. North Carolina. Ouch. This was uh, today. Now that that actually, well, it was today, uh, which will be over in five minutes. But this was at twelve thirty a.m. today. Look at Texas. Uh, it's incredible these extremely low frequencies. 
this this it, it, it's like it does so much damage these frequencies these pulsating incredibly dangerous here we go we seem to have a lot of straight edged precipitation that just mm, erupts but you see the harp the next red harp ring oh well, they've been busy they have been very busy for days and nights but look at North Carolina never have I seen it like this and do I go well let me start in the beginning now that is intense Woof. those frequencies taken over pretty much half of the state. How are you guys feeling? North Carolina. Yeah, and Texas. Wow, man. Intense. Power up. Power up. Power up those microwaves. Extremely low frequencies. Power it all up. I did get some comments from some of you uh, saying that you did get snow and it was wet, but nothing like they predicted with this bomb cyclone. This was also last night or early, early this morning. Sorry, this is 411. Yeah, early this morning. Got the microwaves along South Carolina coast. You've got these frequencies hitting you in North Carolina. Oh, extremely low and very, I've never seen it like this, guys. Never have I seen it. So, uh, wild. Wild. Look at this. And again, it's pretty much a little over half of Texas, you were so saturated and dangerous, pulsating frequencies. And I have posted videos, they're on my channel, uh, hopefully they're on the playlist, Maybe, I think even the recent ones, all of the adverse effects of this radar that is Look, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand that this radar is not just about tracking planes because why would they have them all fired up in just a, a, a few states and western states, well, all the planes went to sleep and nobody's flying out there. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Whoa. You got, this was 410, April 10th at 1255 p.m. what's going on what is going on with these frequencies holy moly feeling depressed anxious angry for no reason I don't know feeling a lot of chronic physical pain headaches uh, feeling not quite yourself exhausted can't function having difficulty concentrating? How's that buzzing, the hissing, the chirping, however you hear it? Wow. 
so. I don't know, maybe they were just trying to get a bomb cyclone going and they just couldn't and they got pissed and they, the hell with it. And they just started, yeah, let's give it our all. Boom. So when you think about the effects of the human being, which is heartbreaking enough, think about the effects on wildlife all of these frequencies, what they're doing. Hey, other symptoms, are you experiencing any vertigo, any dizziness? Is it happening more frequently? How's your eyesight? Your eyesight deteriorating? Got cataracts? Got milk? Got cataracts? So, this is eight hours, eight hours later, still going strong, still going strong. Got our extremely low frequency hit into upstate South Carolina. But look at this, man. Whew. You'd think it was the 4th of July. I have heard from my subscriber who lives in the Fort Worth, Dallas area, not feeling well. Not feeling well at all. Look at this. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can interpret this as, oh, no problem. No, this is war. This is really war. This is using frequencies as a weapon. The damage that occurs from this. Wow. So this is, um, this is the 10th of April. My eyesight is getting pretty bad. <laughs> That's why. I'm trying to look at the little numbers at the top. Um, 10th of April at 1, 10 p.m. Yeah, we were really... Wow. So upstate, this is where I live. And I'm telling you, you know, you see me post videos, you have no clue <laughs> how, wow, I'm getting knocked out a lot. And I'll be honest, pretty intense, well, I can't say intense, but a depression that is like, oh, God, I can't stand it. Uh, walking, exercising, very difficult. Very difficult, um, but yesterday I suddenly got sick. Like, I, I can't even explain, but exhaustion just took over. Um, bit of like a stomach, you know, ache or whatever, I don't know. But it felt as if I was coming down with something, but I didn't actually come down with it. I just couldn't sit upright. I couldn't do anything. The chronic physical pain that I've been experiencing is really getting very difficult. Very difficult to handle. Well, you're looking at the signatures of our technology that causes the symptoms all of the symptoms that I've mentioned in this video. Look at these extremely low frequencies coming out of Galveston, Houston area, right on up. Yep, they can extend for about 300 miles. I've never seen these extremely low frequencies, this Doppler radar, so active. 
but you can I mean I've never seen the Doppler radar in Spartanburg so powerful as it is or as it was just about a day and a half ago oh well that's when I got sick right and couldn't function All right, well, nobody will believe us. We are at war. They're bringing us down. They have a lot of methods to do that. The vaccines, the GMO foods, the, the Fukushima radiation, the leaking radiation power plants, the uh, the use of weather as a weapon, vaccines, medications. <laughs> and you know what? All of this happened really rapidly. It's amazing. It's amazing to me that all of this has happened in my lifetime. And what we are seeing now, yeah, since Trump took office, man, things have really accelerated. Look at these harp next red rings. Uh, coming, well, they're coming from North and South Carolina. Um, anyway, yeah, am I having problems concentrating? You betcha. Yeah. I am not myself anymore. I hate it. I just can't do what I used to be able to do, but I still have that want to do, but can't do. It's a very frustrating experience. So it's been bad for the last couple of days. I mean, look at this. So the saturation of these incredibly dangerous and powerful frequencies We've been on overload for days. And it would be very interesting to hear how everybody is feeling. Now, this is what you are looking at. <laughs> it's a tragedy. What you are looking at is an awful lot of people who are suffering. You can be guaranteed there are a lot of people in these areas that are suffering from well a myriad symptoms physical and or emotional mental spiritual but we we just go on like okay well get up you know just go on like nothing is going on. I, it's, it's a bizarre, it's a very bizarre life. I have always had difficulty. I've, I, I have difficulty in ignoring what is in my face, ignoring reality. I just have never been able to do it. And when the obvious is staring us right in the face, and it is right here, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't do well with like, okay, we're at war, but I'm supposed to go out into the world and pretend like everything is just a-okay. Well, as they say in South Carolina, that ain't right. That just ain't right. It ain't right. Okay, I'll end with this. This is April 9. April 9, 1 o'clock in the morning. Houston. Um, haven't heard from you in a while. I don't want to say your name because I don't, that's not, how are you doing?
How are you doing? A subscriber who's very sensitive to the frequencies and seeing what is happening in Texas, but most often in Houston, yeah, people really do suffer this. Unbelievable. Oh boy. I hope you're all feeling fabulously. I hope that you are really doing well. But I only want to hear the truth. That's all I want to hear. Mm. 